And then you want to click on Groups. And you'll see a list of groups. Now, we can find people anywhere, but I tend to prefer to look for groups with a higher membership, 11,500. As I say, we can find people everywhere, but if, you, if you're limited for time, it makes sense to me to join the groups with more people in them. And that's just got under 3,000 there. Some of them you can see I have already joined. And I have another Facebook. If you were on that, you probably wouldn't see any. <laughs> and then what we can do is try Livingston. Click Groups. And again, you'll get a list of people. Livingston buy, sell or trade, 1,500 members. Request sent. I'll put in Bathgate. Groups. And you'll see the groups there by selling. There's some that you don't want to join. Slimming World, Bathgate Bairns. So you just scroll down them. So it's as easy as that. It's just a matter of slowly searching through. And the more groups that you, um, the more groups that you add, the more groups you'll get recommended to you. The system that works. Now that you've got your groups added, uh, what we want to do now is to first of all maintain our own group. You want to have a good variety in there and you want to post three or four products every day on your own group. It only takes minutes. And then you can use the products that you've saved with the text and post two to three new products every day on 60 groups minimum. Space out, posting and adding to groups to avoid the bans and we'll talk about how to protect your Facebook uh, shortly. And you may want to bump your products up once per day, especially in the new stages when you're having to space out posting and build it gradually. You can get a little bit extra mileage by going back to the products you've posted and doing what we call bumping them. What is that? If you make a comment on your post, this takes it back to the top of the group and more people will see it on their homepage and that's what's called bumping. Now it's important to have a quick read of the admin's rules. Some only allow one bump a day or some don't allow it at all. So have a quick look at the rules if you're doing that. But if you bump it to the top, that means there's a fresh batch of people going to see that on their homepage. So you're getting double um, for your post, just especially while we're having to slowly build it. And remember to interact on Facebook and be social. The more interaction on Facebook, the more you'll be able to post. Like and comment on stories in the groups. So organising your groups. How do we organise your groups? Just take you through this short video and show you how you can easily save your groups as bookmarks for nice and easy access. So what I'm going to do is go to my groups. And here they are. So I'm just going to click on this one here. You want to go up to bookmarks and click bookmark this page. And then what you can do is you can put it in a folder. So I'm going to create a folder for West Lothian Facebook and save it in the West Lothian folder. And then it's there. Then you want to just go to your next group. Now 
Let's pop this one in. Selling by West Lothian. Big market. Add it to the group. And then we have two of them up there. Now, if you've already got lots of groups added, this is going to be quite time consuming. But if you're brand new and you're starting from scratch, bookmark each group as you add them so that when you want to post, you just have to click on the relevant folder at the top. Selling for West Lothian. Bookmark it. So that is how you organise your groups. And you might actually want to add um, something like business groups. Another, because you can do as many folders as you want to. So, how to respond to likes and comments. You're posting away happily in your own group and you're now posting externally. Well, it's exactly the same with external groups as it is with your own group. If they like a product, comment on it. Hi Joe Blogs, tag them. Thanks for the like. If you'd like any more information or you would like to order, please let me know. I also have an online shop with lots more stunning products. You can see them at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Lynn McDonald's, Lynn, sorry, Lynn Mac's online shop. Now this actually opens a direct link to your group and you will find others from this group as a result of seeing your cover photograph mainly will ask to join your group. This is why it's important to have an enticing cover photograph, something that draws people in. It's why I like to put the products and all they actually have to do is click here and they'll be in your group and they can ask to join and while building this you may get five six seven eight nine ten or a dozen people a day asking to join your group just from putting this simple comment uh, thanking somebody for the like and the good news is um because some admins don't like you to promote your group on uh, their wall it doesn't seem to have any uh, negative effect by posting it as a comment i've been doing it now for uh, over 18 months and i haven't had a single problem but i have had lots of people asking to join the group so that's a good idea to always promote it if the comment again is exactly the same as with your, the people you know, uh, like their comment, it notifies them that you've seen it. Comments asking a question or showing interest, hi Joe Blogs, tag them, I'll send you a personal message. And add them as a friend and to your group straight away. Do it straight away or you'll forget. Again, also add, I also have an online shop with lots more stunning products. You can see that at www and your Facebook shop address. Now, I know you're adding them to your shop, but as I mentioned before, we're popping this advert up for others in the group to see and for others to ask to join. Just promote your group at every opportunity. This is how your shop will grow. How to respond to likes and comments. It's exactly the same as you would do with your friends and family. You want to send a personal message uh, because it consolidates the sale. Always make contact by personal message. Confirm when the order is likely to be delivered, local or distance. Send the link to your online catalogue. They may want to order more. If it's local, arrange to contact them before delivery or collection. And I prefer to give them a call. You can message them, especially if the communication's good, but I prefer to give them a call. It consolidates it better. If it's over £50, even if it's local, you may want to send them the PayPal link, which they can use their card 
to pay by. We're only using PayPal as a secure vehicle, so it can be PayPal or card, or you could drop ship them the products to them. For more information on PayPal and dropship, just have a look under retail. Uh, there's trainings on that. But always, always, always finish the conversation with, thank you so much for your order. I really appreciate your business. Protecting your Facebook account. When you start to get active in Facebook, you have to be on guard. We have to edit our photographs. Edit the text if you're copying it from the website. Space out adding groups. Space out posting, especially when you're new. Post 10, take a break. Interact on the group you're posting on with a like or a comment. Get to be known. And like and comments on friends' posts and videos on your own Facebook helps as well to avoid Facebook bans. You could post two different products on each group at the same time. Now this helps you to double up your activity but doesn't seem to cause any security alerts. So instead of getting 10 products on 10 groups, you'll get 20 products on 10 groups. Change the product so you're not posting 60 of the same product and text. So you might do two of one product on 10 groups and then two of another product on uh, another 10 groups. Minimum of two to three products on 60 groups per day is what you want to aim for. And it may take time in the early stages, mainly because we want to avoid Facebook bans. Um, once we've been doing more, we can do more. The more interaction, the more commenting, posting, liking that you do, the more that Facebook allow you to do. You're building up a footprint. So while you're building up that fruit footprint, you've just got to be as active as possible and do it throughout the day at different times. It takes time to build up your group, but eventually you will have enough customers in your group and you won't have to advertise in the buying and selling groups. You may choose that you still want to, uh, to keep on building your group and to collect sales, or you may decide to spend the extra time building your team which brings us on to the next set of videos the next videos are going to be section four sponsor how to grow your team on facebook thank you very much for your time and i'll see you on the next video